Hi guys, welcome to today's video. I'm gonna be doing a um, look, a makeup look with affordable products. I'm gonna be including some drugstore products, I'm gonna be including LMK Cosmetics, Physician's Formula, which you can get from Zalora, and yeah. The reason why I haven't been doing a drugstore makeup look is because I don't know if what I can get in the UK is the same as Malaysia and I want you guys to be able to get it as well. Yes, mother. I hope you guys agree that this is kind of more affordable than a lot of stuff from Sephora and stuff because uh, I, I get that this is still not very cheap but makeup is a want, not a necessity so yeah, you can live without it and let's start So I've already primed my face, I've done my brows and I've also cleaned it up with some concealer I use the True Match Concealer by L'Oreal and I have this one in golden beige. I couldn't really find an alternative for brows So I just did it with my normal Benefit stuff. I used the foolproof brow powder for that for my brows The only two things I couldn't find were brows and primer for this look, but I used the Fenty primer and Now we're gonna start with foundation. This is the L'Oreal infallible pro matte Oil-free air light demi matte finish. I got this in 104 104 golden beige. I like the packaging of this. It's so easy to travel with. It's not glass. <laughs> it's not plastic, and it's not like a pump or anything. It's just queasy tube. So easy. I'm gonna take a blending. What is this? Beauty blender and just. All over. It is a very matte foundation. <laughs> if you have dry skin, this might not be for you, but if you have oily skin like me, I think this will work well, like over time especially, because once your face gets a bit more oily <laughs> throughout the day, then I think this will look really nice. Now foundation is on, we're gonna go into concealer. L'Oreal sent me six of the True Match shades. Yeah, six of them. I'm just gonna use a lighter color under my eye. Something with a pink tone, which is vanilla. And I'm gonna use the same one I cleaned my brows with golden beige for the rest of my face, like all the other gloss. So we're gonna go in with vanilla. Look at how easily that applied. It is so cooling on my eye for some reason. You know when concealer is like really really thick, it doesn't feel really nice on your skin because it's just like, why am I doing this to my eyes? It feels like you're just creating more bags and like um, hiding them. But I feel like this mix is so easy because it's so light. Like the, the formula is so light. It feels like a whipped formula or something like that. Like so freaking nice, I like it. And then for this pimple, this pimple, this pimple, this, 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 okay, I'll be back. Because the foundation wasn't a full coverage one, obviously you can still see some scars and pimples and stuff. So we're now gonna conceal. I'm just, um, I just went over it with the applicator and I'm just gonna like bounce on it. Hmm. I can kind of still see it. Okay, so from all the scars and everything, the only two I can kind of still see is, are these two. So I'm just going to try to see whether this is buildable. By the way, I have been using this concealer, but like, I haven't really been bothered to like do any full coverage stuff, so I don't really know if it's buildable. Mmm. -hmm. I think that did make it look better. So it is buildable, which is great. Next thing we're going to do is set my face. What made me want to do this video actually was that L'Oreal sent me a bunch of stuff. When they sent me a bunch of lipsticks at first, I was like, hmm, maybe I can do a video on drugstore products, look with drugstore products or just more affordable products. And then a while after that, I got another package from them and they sent me the concealers and also a mascara, which I'm going to try today. I went out just to get the last bits, like I needed a foundation. I actually already have that in the UK, but I didn't bring it back. And I got um, some powder, a setting spray. Oh my god, I actually have a brow product. I didn't remember I have this. 
It's okay. I'm just gonna use it to like set my brows instead of like actually using this to like shape it. Sorry. I also got an eyeliner. And I also got an eyeliner. So as soon as I arrived, I got a message from someone from the Maybelline team. And they sent me... They sent me this huge... Oh, they sent me this huge freaking box. I don't think you can tell how big it is. And in here, they have concealers. They have all the powder. They have all the blush. They have all the foundation. I was so freaking excited to see this. But I literally, literally just bought the powder that is already in this. And I also picked up a foundation which is actually from L'Oreal but I wouldn't have needed this if I knew this was coming. So what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna give away some. <laughs> so I'm gonna do with this stuff because obviously I can't suit all the shades so I'm gonna give away some of these stuff to you guys. I'll tell you guys at the end of the video. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with Maybelline Fit Me powder which I have two of right now in the shade 2 Three, five. I think this is meant to be like a highlight brush, like a highlighting brush, but I'm just gonna take a bit of that. Because this foundation is already so matte, I'm not going to set everywhere. I'm just gonna set wherever I will crease. And smile lines. So now I'm gonna go in. No, 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 no. I'm going to do eyes first. I'm so excited for this. I'm going to be using my sister's makeup, like her makeup products, LMK Cosmetics. I'm pretty sure a lot of you have heard about it. She gave me all of these. I've uh, basically just been using hers, but like she gave me a bunch of new ones, which I'm so happy about. Like, she, oh, I'm so proud of her. She's so freaking intelligent. And I'm so freaking proud. Give me some highlights, the blush. We're going to get into this. Oh, uh, which one should I use? I'm gonna actually use this one, the Bossy Bronze Palette. So, first thing, I'm gonna take a fluffy brush and I'm taking the shade 5C, this shade, and I'm just gonna go all over the eyes just to like set the base. It's a cool tone brown, so if you're into that, this would be for you, but if you're more of a warm girl, then maybe not. Obviously, LMK isn't a drugstore makeup. Um, I don't really know. I guess High Street? To me, I think it's pretty affordable. I don't know about you guys. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I do think it is. Now I'm taking the shade Driven, which is what my sister is. She's so driven. She's so motivated. She is literally one of the most business-minded young ladies I've ever met. And if you don't know her well enough, you probably don't know that. So... What you see on Instagram, on Twitter, on blogs, probably isn't the best portrayal of her. But she literally is one of the best people to have in your life. <laughs> like, I'm so grateful I'm, I have her as a sister. <laughs> I felt like crying for a bit, but I don't know why. <laughs> I'm okay. Now I'm taking this brush, like a more dense brush, just to pack on Glamorous this shade on my eyes I also have a huge ColourPop haul coming for you guys so if you're into ColourPop you have that to look forward to if you've never bought anything from ColourPop you can see what I got maybe maybe see what you might like also I'm gonna really like on your own just get it from an insta shop like I really regret getting it on my own because it really put me in so much, so much trouble. Ugh. So I would rather have just gone through like JD Spree or something just to get them to help me get it because they know how to. They know how the customs and stuff work. I don't have to worry about that. I just, ugh. My stuff was stuck at the customs for two months, guys. Not fun. But I managed to get it out and had to pay a lot of money. But Alhamdulillah, I have my stuff, which is what I was so stressed out about. I really didn't mind 
not getting the stuff I just wanted a refund but they were also making so many problems like oh if you don't do this we can rampas we have the right to rampas like what the actual I was so pissed but I couldn't show it because if I showed that I was pissed to them then they'll be like you know what girl bye I'm gonna take your stuff and I have nothing to do I cannot do anything also this is just a thing I do like I have like a wipe like a baby wipe or a towel um, and I will wet the towel a bit and whenever I use these brushes I'll just like wipe it on that I will always do that because sometimes there might be colors from my different looks you've done or whatever and you don't want that to transfer onto your current look I always just clean my brush that way just so that product doesn't just continue packing on now I'm taking like a smaller brush and I'm taking the last color here, lavish. Okay, so eyeshadow is done. I'm gonna now take a Maybelline's Master Liner. I don't remember who likes this liner, but I know that a very famous beauty guru does. I think it's Nikki Tutorials. I might be very wrong, she might hate it, but like. I'm just gonna do this with my, on my waterline. Okay, I'm pretty sure she likes this because this applies like a dream. It's so easy to apply, it's like kind of creamy. But it's also so sturdy, it doesn't like it doesn't feel like it's gonna break, you know. I'm taking feisty again, the first shade I took, and with the same blending brush or whatever. I'm just gonna go under my lash line. Should I do the rest of my face or mascara? I'm just gonna do the rest of my face. Taking a pointy tapered brush and I'm gonna go in with this. The Butter Bronzer from Physicians Formula. This smells like chocolate. I love this bronzer so epic much. It isn't super pigmented, so you know, when you do something like contouring, you want a bit more control. And with this, you get that because it is buildable, but it isn't like crazy pigmented, so you don't go like slapped on the face with brown. Oh, I was looking here. There's no mirror. Okay, so I'm not gonna do too much. Well, I'm gonna go under my chin and a bit on my five head. Now, I'm gonna pick a blush. I'm gonna go in with a matte blush. I think just now I picked up like three and I said this is blush. I'm wrong. Three highlights, two blush. So I'm gonna go in with Famous and same brush. Dust it off on the wet wipe or towel. I'm gonna take some highlight and I'm gonna use this shade which is Unapologetically Extra. Sis, that name is Unapologetically Extra. Ooh. Oh, I'm gonna have to set my brow now with this. I think it was meant to be like that. Like this is how it's supposed to be, like that. And then I just brush it. But obviously I've done my brows. I'm just gonna set my brows. Ooh. It is such a nice color. I hope this keeps my brows in place. By the way, this is the L'Oreal Brow Artiste Chisel Straight. This what it says. Brows down. Now, all I'm left to do is mascara. And the one I'm going to be using today is the Voluminous Lash Paradise Waterproof Mascara from L'Oreal Paris. So I'm gonna do one side and I'll be back. This is what an applicator looks like. Apparently this is one of the best mascara drugstore wise. And this is by the way Jeffree Star approved. So if that matters to you then. So this is how one side looks with mascara. And once without obviously. I really like this mascara. Really, really like it. And it's also waterproof, which is gonna be a bit harder to remove, but it is going to hold your curl a lot longer. It's gonna last on your eyes a lot longer. For lips, they sent me two. Uh, what is this? Matte Obsessions lipsticks. So freaking amazing, okay? <laughs> what I'm gonna now do is pick a color from all these. So spoiled for choice right now. Probably gonna go with Chocolate Rouge, which is this beautiful color. Mm. So I'm pretty sure you can tell. Hi, you can see me. It's not very drying for a matte lipstick, which is obviously a plus point. It is matte, it looks matte, but it 
feels like a satin lipstick. Now I'm gonna complete this whole look with this Master Fix setting spray from Maybelline. It smells so much like the Urban Decay All Nighter. So let's hope it does the same thing as that. We are all done. This is the final look. Don't know what I'm doing. So we've come to the end of this video. I'm gonna now announce a giveaway. So I'm gonna be picking a few foundation shades that I want to keep for myself, for some friends, for some family members. I'm only gonna be picking five foundation shades and I'm gonna be keeping the blush and concealer because I've never tried them out before, so I'm excited to try them. And I'll also be giving away the powder. I will only be keeping three powders, so the rest of the powders and the rest of the foundation will be all for one winner. If you are someone who is enthusiastic about makeup, you always do people's makeup and you don't always have the right shade for them, then this might be a, a good opportunity to win some products so that you can do it for more people. And if you have a big family, if you have a lot of friends you want to give to or you want to just share, share the love, then join this giveaway. All you have to do to join this giveaway is subscribe to my channel, follow Maybelline, comment on this video and also let me know why you want to win I guess and send me a DM on Twitter or Instagram with the proof of all the steps that you've done. So I hope that you guys will get really excited about this because I'm going to be posting the winner very very soon. So if you guys want to win a bunch of foundations and powders, join this giveaway. I hope that you guys like this video. If you guys did, then give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. There will be 10 more giveaways if foundations and powders aren't your thing, then maybe you can do something completely different. Maybe you can do books, maybe you could do stationery. I don't know. I'll see you guys with another video very soon. Bye!